All right, so now I'll uh, kind of show you how this works with the CP251. So um, there's really a couple cool things about this um, and how it works with the low pass filter. Um, basically, you either have a sine wave or a square wave, or it does have sample hold waves coming out of it. Um, and I'm actually going to, this controls the rate, I'm actually going to plug in an expression pedal to control the rate. Um, and then I'll just show you what a sine wave sounds like um, to control cutting, uh, to control the cut off the filter. Um, dial back the amount so you're just dealing with the filter but you can get um it sounds like that all the way up to Then you can take the sine wave out and run it through, um, let's say, like the attenuator, which sort of crushes or expands the size of that sine wave. Um, and we can run uh, that out then into the cutoff. And I'll show you how that affects it. So. Here it's basically got a full wave. We can crush the size of that so it's a little less less dramatic. Again, more dramatic. And then we can run that out into the lag processor and this actually controls the rise and the fall of that wave individually at least that's my understanding of it um, so here's with you know the wave set to basically the extremes doesn't sound much different than the way it did before but now if we adjust dial back let's say the fall the wave and dial the, ri the rise back a little differently. So that's where you can get some really cool, um, uh, you know, unique forms out of that. expression pedal to control the speed of that LFO. Um, so another cool thing it does is the sample hold. So now instead of, or here I'll show the square wave first. Uh, so basically we're running through the same setup only we are using a square wave instead of a sine wave. You can hear there's a little ticking going on there. It goes away if you put it on the two pole for some reason.
So it's very cool, either this sine wave or the uh, square wave. It uses, there's a couple different sample hold waves as well. Um, this one is a little uh, uh, more abrupt. <laughs> stuff though you can use that these uh, um, LFOs out of the CP to control different things like the mix or the resonance um, or the uh, the amount um, and you can also send the envelope out of the pedal and use the envelope to control um, use as control voltage for other pedals so anyhow that's it thanks <laughs>